For the last few months, I've been using my Apple EarPods for nearly every application that requires in-ear audio. I use them for monitoring while recording voiceovers, for podcasting, and everyday music listening. Yes, I know such a thing is absurd, but the last pair of headphones I owned, Sony MDR7506s, ended up developing a short end of the cable and I simply just never got around to replacing them in a timely manner. As you're probably aware of, Audio-Technica's ATH-M50X headphones have received rave reviews from tech sites, bloggers, and YouTubers alike. I mean, the love that these headphones receive on a regular basis convinced me that the next pair of headphones that I needed to try needed to be these. Comfort. Outside of sound quality, the most important thing about a pair of headphones is comfort because if the headset isn't comfortable, then it really doesn't matter how good they sound. Now, to be honest, I figured that these would be comfortable because so many people have told me such, but trying them for myself affirmed this assumption. These cans are comfortable to wear for extended periods of time thanks to the supple padding provided on the ear cups and the horizontal and vertical pivoting ability of each cup. From what I can remember, they seem to be significantly more comfortable than the Sony MDR7506s that I owned before. Sound quality. True, I've been using earpods for the last few months so it shouldn't take a lot to impress my ears. But I don't remember ever hearing a pair of headphones that sound this good in this price range. Now of course, no description can replace actually hearing them for yourself, so you'll just have to take my word for it until you try them. Now all the ranges, the lows, the mids, the highs, they sound crisp, they sound clear. Lows are a little bit on the punchy side, but not so much that it becomes a distraction or it's detrimental to the overall sound quality. Both music and spoken word benefit from the clarity provided by these headphones. I noticed that my voiceover sounded more accurate, true to my voice, provided a sense of clarity that I wasn't able to hear before in my earpods. Now yes, it might seem silly to even think about comparing any sort of third-party headphones with earpods, but I'm betting I'm not alone in my former predicament. If you're wondering if you should upgrade to a better pair of headphones, by all means do so. Design. Like it or not, with the help of companies like Beats, headphones have become a fashion statement. But there's nothing crazy about the Audio-Technica design that makes it stand out from an aesthetic perspective. But I like that understated look. The black versions provide a more low-key and subdued look, but Audio-Technica does make versions of the ATH-M50X in white and other colors. There's also third-party skinning communities from companies like Dbrand if you're interested in really switching up the look. Extras. One of my favorite things about the ATH-M50X is that it comes with a detachable cable. As someone who has experienced several issues with bad cables in the past, having such a modular cable input ensures that these headphones can long outlive a suspect cable. Each cable included in the box, there are three of them, slides into the port on the left can and locks into place with a simple twist. As mentioned, Audio-Technica includes three different cables in the box, a coiled 3 meter cable and two straight cables, one 3 meters and a shorter 1.2 meter version geared towards personal audio devices. As someone who loves the flexibility added by having a coiled cable, I quite enjoy having the option to choose between the three on a whim. If you're using Apple's smart battery case with your iPhone success, you may be a little disappointed to find that none of the included cables work with the battery extending case. This is more of an Apple problem and not a fault of Audio-Technica or any third-party headphone manufacturer. The ATH-M50X comes with a carrying bag that can be used when folding the headphones into their most compact position. The travel bag is the sort of typical inexpensive leatherette bag that headphones ship with and certainly are nothing special. I recommend going with the hard case if you're really keen on keeping your headphones in tip-top shape while traveling. Conclusion. Sound quality and comfort are important to me, there's no doubt but so is price. At less than $150 on Amazon, the Audio-Technica ATH-M50X is well within reason for budget-conscious buyers who don't wish to settle for less. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.